Alright, welcome back everyone. You might notice that I'm in my Greg Tech world, and this leads me to the few administrative notes while I wait for my nano suit to charge again. I am going to be moving back to one Minecraft series that will be the Greg Tech, having to just kind of disrupts the flow of both of them for me. I really just want to sit down and focus on one, uh, and I'm really enjoying the Greg Tech series so far, so this is the one I'm going to focus on. Also, I am going to be putting up the videos later, 5 p.m. Eastern Time is when I'm going to aim to have all of my videos launch. Uh, this is because recently, and it will start again soon, my room has been uh, about tw 5 to 10 degrees hotter than the rest of my house, and it is making it so that recording when I normally record is pretty much not an option because my room is so uncomfortable that I, I can't focus on recording. So I can start recording when I wake up and that will make the process easier and a lot more comfortable for me. So I'll have the episodes recorded and rendered and up right by around five. But that's it for the administrative notes. For this episode, I'm going to start setting up two different mines. I'm going to set up an overworld mine, uh, a building far, far away. I do have a mine here, but uh, I believe I've tapped all of the important resources dry in all of the areas I'm comfortable exploring. So I'm going to set up an overworld mine, and I'm going to set up a nether mine. Because the nether has, uh, has a few resources that I'm interested in. It's got a few Greg Tech things that are pretty useful, and it's got nether ores, but I don't want to just do surface mining like I normally would, because any time I mine a nether ore, a true nether ore, I aggro, aggro the zombie pigmen. And it's becoming incredibly hazardous to my health to continue to do that. So, I'm going to go make some basic stuff for, uh, for the journey. You can see I have six books. I need to... Put this in here. And let's get to, uh, I rearmored myself. Let's get to the nether and decide on where I want to, uh, hi creeper. How did you get here? Well, that's unfortunate, but my bed's not over here. Well, let's deposit all the stuff that I don't need. Uh, I do need the flint and steel because I am not making that mistake again. Uh, portal gun... Yeah, I did acquire a portal gun um, between one of the episodes with uh, ex exploration, but... Let's go to the nether. And hopefully there aren't too many hostile mobs on the other side for me, or waiting for me. There really weren't that many. Okay. That, that linking book is still down there. Yeah, let's grab my portal gun. Let's see. Uh, I want to place you right there. And you right there. Okay, so I've got a pretty good place right here to dig in and set up my nether mine. Okay. Well, this is basically all there's going to be to it. places knocked out in here. Basically, I'm just going to try and do all mining underground. And this is just going to serve as a good staging place for me. But I'm going to make myself a link book. And I'm going to make it set up to be... Uh, here, here. I'm going to set it up right here. Now I've got a linking book to the nether. 
awesome. And I'll be back when I'm ready to set up either my next mine or work on what I'm using these books for. So we'll see you guys then. Okay, so I'm back in the overworld, and I'm going to actually grab some stuff that I need for what I'm working on. And while, yes, I am working on the mines, I'm also working on the mines for a different reason. I'm working on the mines because I'm setting up sort of a miscraft nexus, uh, an easy way to travel from one central location to several other locations, my house, several other people's houses, uh, and for me at least, the my additional mines. I will grab that stuff in a second. So what I need is a, several pieces of wood. Four is more than enough. I'm going to quick come over here and snag this coal. Because I do desperately need coal for some stuff. So, here we go. And I'll, I t I'll take them on as it in copper ore. I should mark that, but I'm not going to. But I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to head to my house momentarily and make some stuff for, uh, for what I'm going to... Actually, I can head into the Twilight Forest. So, come through here. Some of you might notice it's slightly different. I think I was here once, but I've made this, the... The, uh, the viewing room over the portal, and then I'm going to make... <clears throat> oh god, sorry. I'm going to make the... the Nexus-style thing here. So for two pieces of wood, I can make... or for four pieces of wood, I can make two book stands. <clears throat> and with these book stands, I can place them like so, and then place a link book on them. And I actually need to... I don't get to make the, the full amount that I'd hoped for, but I'm going to make some signs. Consumes another mining operation. Since we don't have the link book modifier, I will have to put the uh, the signs over to demonstrate or to show what they truly are, but but let's see. I'm gonna make one more book stand. I'm gonna bring the total count in here up to five. And at the moment, that will allow me to move these back in here. and put the books in here. No, oh, that didn't auto-move. Regular... another... book. And I don't remember the exact name, but this is... And that's it in here for now, so let's... Hmm. I'm just gonna head back down to the overworld. And I'll see you guys in a second, because I have a little bit more work to do in the, in the nether mine. Okay, so I'm down here in my mine, and you probably won't see me doing this really often, but I want to demonstrate some of the stuff about... Let's see if I can get this to do it. No, I couldn't get this to do it. But sometimes when you mine nether ores, they will prime like TNT and explode. And, I mean, you'll hear it, hopefully, but it can be rather unfortunate sometimes. Let's see if this vein does it. Nope. But I am down here strip mining and running out of bag space. But I did want to let you guys know that that is a possibility when you are mining, that it could just up and explode. So, I'm going to finish up this little bit of mining down here, and then I'll meet you guys back in the overworld.
So I'm back in the overworld and I'm just going to quick set all this stuff to process. But let's quick demo some of this. Uh, that's Bauxite Ore. Okay. Let's quick demonstrate some of the benefits of getting the Nether Ore. The first major one is, unless Greg Tech has changed it, that you get double the amount you would get if you processed it. Oh, it's only one and a half. Okay. But you get three dust per maceration. So, in the long... Ooh, in the long run, it's pretty worthwhile to just get the stuff from the nether. I mean, it's a lot more dangerous, and you, ha you do risk a lot more, but you do also get more. So I'm going to go dump some of this stuff, and I'm going to set up the overworld mine, which is for a few specific things that are not easy to find in the nether. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm down here, basically at the bottom of the world, and I've set up my little mine. Ooh, okay, that's a weird bug. And I'm going to be looking for a few specific resources in the overworld that I can't find in the nether, or if I wanted to find in another dimension I would have to make a miscraft age for. Uh, these would be the Zycorium, uh, Eridium, let's see, what else is there? Uh, aluminum, quartz crystals... Let's quick look at... Someone is messing with the aura. Uh, let's see, the root... are the gems that aren't, uh... Oh no, the gems that are, uh, red power do have nether versions. But basically, there's a few things that I can't find in the nether that I'm going to set up a base around here for. So let's see... And I'll be back when I get something interesting. So, this episode's going to be on the shorter end, because this episode's basically a prep work episode for what I'm going to be doing next. But I want to discuss what I am going to be doing next. Next, I'm going to be working on the next tier of power, and the next tier of industrial craft with Greg Tech. Now, what this is going to entail is I'm going to end up making a fairly large number of machines, um, setting up more workshop space, stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to be aiming to do at least uh, at least the power generation next episode, and the expanding uh, expanded machine array the episode following that, but the power might end up being two episodes, just like the machine episode, or my, machines might also end up being two episodes. So, that's just a little heads up as to what I plan on doing next, and ooh, I hit obsidian. Well, this means that I am not going to be uh, continuing on in that direction, because I don't actually have a diamond pick, but <clears throat> once I get done with Actually, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and edit myself and what I said, and I'm not going to do that immediately. Instead, I'm going to... Oh, that's where that light is, com light is coming from. Instead, I'm going to work on a few other... Um, basically, convenience things. Uh, stuff like... Uh, automated farming, better farming, stuff like that. However, after that episode, I do plan on doing the machine work and the expansion work, because, well, I can't, I'm not operating at full capacity, and I won't be for a long time, but I'm not even operating close to, like, half capacity because of, uh, because of everything with Greg Tech. So... I'm going to call this episode here. I do apologize for it being really short, but like I said, this is a groundwork episode where I show that I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff set up to do mining, to do uh, to do a few other things, just so that you guys know that I'm not, like, doing absolutely nothing and just not preparing episodes. So, see you guys next time.